Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a manatee. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. To the left, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. Draw the two circles roughly the same size. Don't place the circles too close together or the body will be too short. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. On the right side, draw another circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. The edge of this circle should touch the edge of the first circle. Make this circle about half the size of the first circle. To the right of the head, make a small mark for the first part of the muzzle. Connect the small mark to the head using curved lines to finish the guide for the muzzle. The muzzle should be big in relation to the head. Inside the head, draw a sloping line as a guide to help you place the facial features later on. Under the first circle, draw a curved line as a guide for the flipper. Pay attention to the size of the flipper in relation to the circle. This guide should be similar to the letter U. Connect the head to the body using sloping lines to create the guide for the neck. Make the shape of the neck wide. Connect the body circles using long lines to finish the guide for the torso. Curve the lines slightly. On the left side, make a small mark for the back portion of the body. Connect the small mark to the second circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the back portion of the body. This guide should be similar to a triangle. Draw a short line on the left side of the body as a guide for the tail. Draw a longer sloping line below it. Close off the tail on the left side using a sloping line. Pay attention to the size of the tail in relation to the body. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Inside the eye, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. Shade the inside of the eye. Use a darker value on the center of the eye for the pupil. The eye is very small, so don't worry about adding too much detail. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eye for creases. Add more small lines around the eye for more creases. Draw these lines so that they radiate outward from the eye. Use the curved line on the right side as a guide to draw the muzzle. Make the top of the muzzle slightly smaller than the guideline. Follow the path of the guide as you draw the shape of the muzzle. Starting near the construction guide, draw a line that curves to the left for the mouth. Curve the line downward so that it's close to the bottom edge of the guide. Extend the line to the left so that it's inside the head. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Under the mouth, draw a curved line for the lower jaw. 
Follow the basic path of the guide as you draw these lines. Draw a small circle near the top of the muzzle for the nostril. Draw a few short lines around the mouth to create creases. Use the initial circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Darken the top part of the circle to create the top part of the head. Darken the guide to the left to complete the top of the head. Darken the bottom part of the circle to create the bottom of the head. Add a few more lines inside the head to create more creases. Use the curved line under the body as a guide to draw the flipper. Darken the guide to create the shape of the flipper. Add a couple of short lines at the top for creases. The top of the flipper should be inside the body. Make the shape more curved than the guide. Use the other shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. The top of the body should be made up of a long continuous line. Don't overlap the flipper as you draw the underside of the body. Use the shape on the left as a guide to draw the tail. Darken the shape of the guide but make the lines more curved. The tail should be big in relation to the body. Under the front part of the body, draw a curved line for the other flipper. This shape should be similar to the letter U. Now go over the final lines with permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing. Use a bit of green on the top part of the body. Use different shades of green. Draw random shapes across the top part of the body. Use different shades of gray to color the rest of the body. Add shadows using dark gray. Pick a light source as you add the shadows so that they're consistent throughout the body. Here the light source is coming from the top, so most of the shadows will be on the underside of the shapes. Color lightly at first and gradually build up to darker colors. Push down lightly on your pencil to get a lighter shade of a color and then push down harder for a darker shade. Slowly and gradually blend all the colors together. Push down a bit harder with your pencils to blend the colors together. For an easier drawing, just use a single shade of gray across the body and leave out the green at the top. Use a light shade of gray across the top part of the body for highlights. Blend the green and the gray colors together. Coloring can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep coloring until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the manatee. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit HowToDrawAnimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number 2, then DrawAnimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.